Well, this is definitely different. What's up everybody? It's Luke James, not the singer. If you're an indie artist looking for an album review and some promo, you can hit up Luke at redmattersite.com. And what I have for you boys and girls today is a review for this Pusha T track featuring Jay-Z called Drug Dealers Anonymous. Now this one got a lot of buzz going, obviously because of that rare Jay-Z feature, but also because Pusha T is one of the dope rap kings, so going into this you pretty much know exactly what you're going to get just by looking at who's featured and also by the title of the track. This one is actually produced by DJ Dahi, who came through with a slow, haunting sort of vibe. And I thought this beat was alright for what it is, but it didn't really blow me away. It's actually kind of drowsy, sort of just lulls along, but there is some nice bass underneath it. And these two absolutely did what they had to do over top of it. We got Pusha T coming through, stuffing bricks and mattresses, and he's also rapping about the Flint, Michigan water crisis, how he helped out, and just how fucked up that whole situation is. So I thought it was pretty cool how he spoke on that, because it's always good to bring those things to the light. And as always, Pusha T's flow and delivery is on point. I've always thought that's one of his strong points, and again, he is one of the dope rap kings. But Jay-Z's verse on this was the one that a lot of people were talking about because it's not often you get a Jay-Z feature. But first I gotta mention that there's no hook on this one. Both of their verses are just split by a Tommy Laren clip where she's talking about Jay-Z's drug dealing past. And if you don't know who she is, well, don't even bother looking it up because she's a bit of a bimbo. But let's get back to Jay-Z's verse. He has some nice flows. He's coming through with his usual style, as he always does. So if you're a Jay-Z fan, you're going to love this one. And it kind of reminded me of what he did on Seen It All with Young Jeezy. Because he's rapping a bit about his hustling past with Emery Jones and just some of the law trouble that he's been in and how he got out of it. So it's always cool to hear Jay-Z come through with these stories. He also has some memorable lines on here, like when he makes that damn Daniel reference and says that the white vans are coming through, kind of like how the police are creeping in white vans. And I admit that that was a bit of a cringeworthy line because I absolutely hate that meme, I'm not going to lie to you, but I thought it was kind of clever so I saw what he was going for. But the one line I saw a lot of people talking about, and I thought it was pretty cool too, was when he brought up a jury being hung. He says the jury's hung, then he says bling bling after. So there's a bit of a double entendre there, double meaning for a hung jury, jewelry hanging. It's just pretty cool how he did that, man. I thought that was some clever shit. So Jay-Z is definitely on top of his game still. I think he fit in nicely on this track. But overall, I give this a 3.5 out of 5. Cool track for what it is, but there wasn't really anything overly new or exciting here. And like I said, the beat didn't really grab me and shake me to my core. But that's just what I thought about this one. You guys can check it out for yourself and then let me know in the comment section what you think. And make sure you do all that good YouTube and social media stuff, man. Where you like my videos, you share them, you follow me on Twitter, you retweet the videos, and you especially subscribe to my channel. Let me know what you guys think of the new setup. I'm not really done yet. I'm still messing around with ideas and trying to get my lighting right. So just bear with me because I know, you know, my lights, they might not be up to date right now. They might not be looking as good as what they did in the old videos. I'm not sure. You guys let me know what you think. I'll keep on working on it and fixing the kinks. But thank you for watching, everybody. I will see you next time.